After studying this module, you will understand the concept and significance of transfer pricing, understand how transfer price could be a tool for international tax avoidance, understand transfer price manipulation, know about arm's length principle of transfer pricing, evaluate the methods for computation of arm's length price, know about India and transfer pricing, know about advanced pricing agreements. We have introduction. With globalization, multinational corporation is a common phenomena. A multinational corporation has related or associated companies. For example, branches or subsidiaries in different countries. A number of transactions take place in between these associated enterprises. For example, transfer of raw material, know-how, patents, etc. Transfer price exists when there is an internal transaction between these associated enterprises under the same management. We have concept of transfer price. The price or value which is attached to transaction between two associated or related enterprise is transfer price. It is usually in international context in respect of cross-border transaction within a multinational company. In other words, it is the price for goods and services sold between these related legal entities within an enterprise. For example, if a subsidiary company sells goods to parent company, the cost of those goods paid by the parent to the subsidiary is the transfer price. According to OECD model convention, a transfer price is a price adopted for bookkeeping purposes which is used to value transactions between affiliated enterprises integrated under the same management at artificially high or low levels in order to effect an unspecified income payment or capital transfer between those enterprises. Transfer pricing is the process of determining the price of transaction between the associated and related entities. It is the pricing of cross-border intra-firm transaction between related parties. In context of transfer pricing, following are essential. The first, international transaction. Transaction between two or more enterprises of which either one or all are situated across borders. The transaction may relate to tangible property or services. Secondly, associated enterprises. Direct or indirect participation in management and control of one in another. Significance of transfer pricing. The first, monitor the flow of goods and services internally among the divisions of the company. Secondly, determine the notional sales of one division or company to other associated branch or division of company. Third, facilitate divisional performance measurement. Fourth, Associated companies are located in different countries subject to different tax rules. Transfer pricing has a significant impact on profit and hence the tax liability. Fifth, transfer price is significant for custom authorities to compute intra-firm imports for computation for custom duties. Then we have fundamental principles for computation of transfer pricing. Fundamentally, the transfer price between the associated enterprises should be the same as it would be if the transaction was entered with the unrelated party. This is to ensure objectivity, fairness and independence. Transfer price as a tool for international tax avoidance. Since the related enterprises are in different jurisdictions, they are subject to different tax rules. This leads to increase in practices for manipulations of transfer price to adjust profit of divisions ultimately leading to international tax avoidance. International tax avoidance is reducing tax liability in a legally permissible way. Transfer pricing manipulation implies that transaction between the related parties is not at a fair price but is at a price to manipulate the market and deceive the tax authorities. It is over or understating of transaction value with related party to avoid government regulations or misuse the different tax rates across borders. This manipulation deprives the government from their fair share of taxes from multinational corporations. Examples of transfer pricing manipulation. If 
components transferred from a company in low tax country to the associated entry in high tax country incentive to charge high transfer price to maximize profits in a low tax country if both the associated companies are located in high tax rate countries then also transfer price can ensure minimum tax by channelizing transactions through an associated company located in tax haven tax havens means countries with nil or nominal tax on foreigners income assume company a a food grower in africa processes its produce through three subsidiaries as shown in figure company x sells to company y at artificially low price implies low profit and low tax in africa company y sells to company z at artificially high price implies high revenue with low cost purchased from x leads to high profit but no or nominal tax as y is in tax heaven company z makes retail sales reports lower profit due to high cost purchased from y implies a low tax dealing with transfer price manipulation one of the best way to deal with transfer price manipulation is to develop transfer price regulations based on arms length principle that is alp under alp each inter firm transaction is recorded at a price as if the transaction occurred between two unrelated party in competitive market thus transfer price determined on the assumption that the parties to transaction are at arms length that is unrelated arms length principle as per arms length principle transfer price should be the price that would be paid if the transaction had taken place between two comparable independent and unrelated parties where consideration is only commercial it is based on what price would the parties have decided had they been unrelated oecd defines arm length principle as the valuation principle which is commonly applied to commercial and financial transactions between related companies it says that transactions should be valued as if they had been carried out between unrelated parties each acting in his own best interest thus the key to determine the transfer price on the basis of alp is comparability of transactions with related party to a similar transaction with an independent unrelated party setting transfer price on the basis of arm length principle on the basis of price of similar transaction as between two related parties between one of the related party and unrelated party or on the basis of price of similar transaction as between two related parties between two unrelated parties significance of arms length principle arms length price is the price which independent entities charge under uncontrolled conditions it is used to prevent transfer pricing as a technique of tax avoidance first equality between mnc's and independent entity alp ensures equal price is charged both to independent entities as well as related entities all are on equal footing with respect to taxation this promotes trade and investment second correct accounting picture transfer price based on alp ensures objectivity and fairness transactions are recorded at real values hence use of this leads to reflecting correct accounting picture third no price distortion no price distortion in countries with high or low taxes uniform arms length price is maintained fourth check on tax avoidance fifth gives government a fair share of tax revenue then we have difficulties associated with arms length principle a comparable transaction with independent entity may not exist the commercial and financial conditions governing transaction between related parties and unrelated parties tend to be different the second the actual market transaction does not take place with unrelated party so the analysis of such a transaction will help in calculating only the price range and not the exact price third administrative burden and cost increases due to the number of cross border transactions fourth computation of arms length price requires a huge quantum of data in association with the transaction 
In spite of these difficulties, ALP is considered the best way to deal with setting of transfer price. It helps avoiding the creation of tax advantage or disadvantage that distorts the relative competitive advantage of entities. Internationally accepted methods for computation of arm's length price. We start with traditional transaction method. We have first comparable uncontrolled price method. Compare the price of controlled transaction that is related party transaction with comparable uncontrolled transaction that is unrelated. Here first identify comparable uncontrolled transaction. Second, adjust the price of the transaction in the above step for differences, if any, between the international related party transaction and comparable uncontrolled transaction. And the third, the adjusted price is arm length price. This can be understood with the help of an example. A Limited, an Indian company, sells computer monitor to its 100% subsidiary X Limited in USA at the rate of dollar 50 per piece a limited also sells its computer monitor to another company y limited in us at the rate of dollar 80 per piece we have to compute the arm's length price the second method is resale price method comparison of gross margin on resale of goods purchased from related enterprise it includes first identify comparable uncontrolled transaction Secondly, determine the gross margin of uncontrolled that is unrelated entity. Third, adjust gross margin for functional differences including differences in accounting practices. And fourth, determine arm's length price on the basis of gross margin computed in previous step for an uncontrolled transaction. This can be understood with the help of an example. A Limited, a USA company, sells computer to its subsidiary X Limited in India at $10 which further sells to customer at $12. In a similar uncontrolled transaction, unrelated company sells at gross margin of 25%. After solving this equation, we get actual related transaction price is equal to $10. The third method is cost plus method. Here, First, all the direct and indirect cost of production incurred by an enterprise in respect of transaction with associated enterprise is determined. Secondly, gross margin is determined for a similar transaction for an unrelated enterprise. Thirdly, the gross margin computed in the above step is adjusted for functional differences between related and unrelated entities. Fourth, cost referred in first step is increased by the adjusted gross margin. Fifth, the sum so arrived is arm's length price. This can be understood with the help of an example. Gross margin in an uncontrolled transaction is 25%. A limited Indian company receives goods from third party at $10. It further transacts for these goods with X limited, a limited that is USA subsidiary at $12. After solving this equation, we get actual related party price that is $12. Then next we have profit method. Profit method starts with first transactional net margin method. Here compare the net margin in uncontrolled transaction with net margin in controlled transaction. The second is profit split method. In case of interrelated transactions that cannot be evaluated separately, we first Determine the combined net profit of associated enterprises from international transactions. Secondly, determine contribution made by each of the associated enterprises to the combined profit. That is, contribution on the basis of functions performed, assets employed, risk undertaken and on the basis of data, how such contribution will be evaluated by unrelated enterprises. The third, Combined net profit is then split among enterprises in proportion to the relative contributions. The fourth, profit thus apportioned is taken into account to arrive at arm's length price. Then third, we have other method, where due to unavailability of data and uniqueness of transaction, the above five methods cannot be applied then such other methods as may be prescribed. The set method should take into account the price paid, or charged or the price that would be paid or charged for the similar uncontrolled transaction for example third party quotations 
valuation reports etc now we move on to the cost of capital in integrated and segmented markets here the first transfer pricing provisions introduced with effective from finance act 2001 secondly section 92 to section 92f of income tax act 1961 deal with transfer price the third provisions apply to transaction in between enterprises defined in section 92f fourth the transaction should be international transaction as defined in section 92b and the enterprises should be associated as per section 92a fifth the method for computation of arms length price as per section 92c consists of comparable uncontrolled price method resale price method cost plus method profit split method and net margin method sixth Section 92D provides for documentation in respect of transfer pricing issues. Now we have moved towards advance pricing agreement. Advance pricing agreement is an agreement with the tax authorities specifying the method of pricing transaction with associated enterprises. This is a voluntary step to resolve the issues in relation to determine transfer price. these agreements ensure certainty for transfer price and provide a dispute settlement platform in respect of pricing cross border inter firm transaction any person who has undertaken or is contemplating to undertake an international transaction shall be eligible to enter into an apa for developed nations apas have been in existence but for emerging countries like india it is of new origin then we have advance pricing agreement in indian context this consists of first with finance act 2012 secondly the cbdt with approval of central government may enter into an apa with a person who has undertaken international transaction or will be undertaking the same third this agreement either specifies the manner of determining arms length price or provides for the transaction price four agreement is valid for a period of not exceeding 5 years the fifth the advance pricing agreement entered into shall be binding on the person involved in transactions and the concerned income tax authorities the sixth if at any stage evidence for fraud or misrepresentation of facts is highlighted then the board with approval of central government may declare such an agreement to be void at initio seventh APAs may be unilateral bilateral or multilateral 8 for unilateral APAs applications to be filed with the director general of income tax international tax department 9 for bilateral and multilateral APAs applications to be filed before the competent authority now we move on to the summary in this model we have learned about the following the first The concept of transfer pricing in respect of cross border transaction within a multinational company. The second, the significance and the fundamental principle about the transfer pricing and this was majorly done to ensure objectivity, fairness and independence. Thirdly, transfer pricing has been used as a tool of international tax avoidance. Fourth, transfer pricing manipulation thus implies that the transaction between the related parties is not at a fair price. but is at a price to manipulate the market and deceive the tax authorities fifth arms length principle is used to deal with the transfer price manipulation sixth traditional transaction method and the profit method was used for computation arms length price seventh advance price agreement in case of indian context involves certain kind of rules